what to see, what to rent, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. That's right. We're back with the nationally syndicated film critic, Ryan J., who's got a big announcement, but we're just going to tease you because he's not going to make it just yet. Well, you've got some big news. I do. Well, you know, you know me very well as a film critic, but what you might not know or some people may not know is that prior to that, for 15 years, I was a TV producer and director for companies like Showtime, Bravo, Nickelodeon, MTV, VH1, and I retired from that to concentrate full time being a film critic. But now I've been coaxed back behind the camera to direct a feature length documentary about the stories behind and and the cultural impact of the songs from The Wizard of Oz. Okay. That is exciting. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. I'm very excited. Yeah, I want to talk about this this project because I think a lot of people will will probably understand why you're mm -hmm. involved because a lot of people know how knowledgeable you are about The Wizard of Oz and what a passion it is mm -hmm. for you. But how did it come that you would get involved in this? Well, last year I was at Ozstravaganza in New York, which is the, the country's largest annual Wizard of Oz festival, and I was doing a presentation about Legends of Oz from last year, and I met Aaron Harburg, who was also there as a special guest presenting on behalf of his great grandfather who's the lyricist from the Wizard of Oz. Okay. We hit it off right away, we became great friends and he'd been talking about making this documentary for a few years and when he learned about my experience and we felt like we clicked really well and our passions sort of aligned in terms of Oz and we decided to collaborate on this together. We actually went into production last October okay. on this movie and we put a trailer together of our work so far. Would you like to see it? Love yeah. to! Alright cool, let's take a look at that. If I only had a brain, if I only had a heart, if I only had the nerve, that's how we have to day away in the very old land of heart. The Wizard of Oz, I don't think it would have remained as iconic as it has without the songs. The music, the lyrics are such an integral part of what makes The Wizard of Oz effective. What has made it not only a success 75 years ago, but this huge avalanche of icon that it has become. The best material written for my father was Harold and Yip. If I were king of the forest, showed his bravado. If I were king of the forest. That was my father up there. There are five hidden references to the Wizard of Oz in the score for Wicked. With Defying Gravity, the tune basically goes. And then it goes on from there. Over the rainbow is. Those are the first seven notes. Yip put the rainbow in the Wizard of Oz. The word rainbow does not appear even once in the original book by L. Frank Baum. sort of pierces you in the heart. It's just one of the all-time great melodies. No matter how, how much taste change in entertainment, in music, nothing ever comes close to what she did with that song. if a truer statement has been said about the song Somewhere mm -hmm. Over the Rainbow. Mm -hmm. Such a beautiful song. So what's next Thank for the project? You. Thank you. Um, well, I'm very excited because we've already lined up some very impressive A-list celebrities to participate in this film. Cool. So we're moving forward. We're very excited. And I, we just need a little bit of help with the production moving forward. So okay. we launched a crowdfunding campaign. Yeah, right. so there's some perks for supporting it, right? There are. For even like just at the $15 level, you already get a digital copy of the film for free, guaranteed when it's finished. And then also we have some great artwork and t-shirts 
shirts that were designed by Aaron Harburg, officially licensed, featuring the lyrics from The Wizard of Oz. So any level is greatly appreciated. And we have a website that you can go to mm -hmm. to uh, c contribute or to even like share this on your Facebook page or any other social media. So the name of that website is the Sound of Oz Movie. Dot com. Cool. So I'd appreciate it if anybody just, you know, go there, see the trailer again and share it with your friends, you know? It's perfect. People can find it on your Facebook page, all that kind of stuff.